All right, so welcome back to the uh, oil plant. Uh, we're about to give you a tour and you can see that there's a lot of progress that's been made. So this is where we unload the uh, oil from a tanker truck into our bulk silo. Um, this silo can hold about 33,000 gallons of oil, which is about five trucks. And we anticipate on one shift to unload uh, two trucks per day. Inside of the uh, tank, we have uh, two pumps. One pump is to unload the oil, and the other pump is to transfer oil into the plant. So this is an example of our finished product. Uh, we have uh, steel cans inside of the cases, and they're palletized on uh, pallets, 35 cases to a pallet. And this is essentially our single product that we're gonna be starting up the plant with. So this is our uh, air compressor. A lot of our equipment at the plant uh, runs on compressed air. And so this will start up and maintain a specific air pressure for the plant. Uh, it's gonna run about 100 PSI. Most of our e equipment requires 80 PSI. So this is our depalletizer. Um, the depalletizer takes cans off of the conveyor and puts it onto another conveyor. It's just a way to get the cans into the production system efficiently. We will run the depalletizer at about 40 cans per minute, so it's at a pretty fast rate. And it's basically done automatically. We have a robot to basically pull the cans off the pallet, and that's how we get them onto the conveyor. After the depalletizer, the cans will come across this conveyor and head over to our uh, air rinser. At the air rinser, we're going to uh, blow air into the can to disturb the air in the can, and then use vacuum to suck that air out. And that's how we make sure that the cans are clean and ready to go for filling. And then the cans will come along and head under the filler. And so at the filler, the cans will collect uh, 10 at a time. This filler spout will come down into the openings in the top of the can, and then it's going to fill the cans and put in the uh, specified weight that we're looking for. And that's uh, about 8.1 pounds. After the filler, the cans will come down the conveyor and then go to a cap. Um, at this point, we put uh, a cap just like this into the opening of the can, and it's pressed into place uh, by these uh, stainless steel uh, ports. Once the uh, caps are installed, the can then will be closed. It can be turned over, it can be thrown on the ground, and it still is sealed. Uh, then the can travels down the conveyor and then we're going to uh, check weigh it. We're going to check the weight of the can. It's basically just a conveyor with a scale in it to give us the weight of the can. If the can is below a specified weight, which is below 7.9 pounds, it'll kick the can over to a reject conveyor. And then we can uh, reprocess that, that oil. Um, all the good cans then are sent along this conveyor, up this elevator conveyor, and then across the room, and then down and over to the case pack. So the can will come off the elevator conveyor and be sent in front of a can coder. This is an inkjet printer that applies a, a date and a lot number on the can. Uh, once the date and lot number are applied on the can, the cans will travel down the conveyor and queue up for the case packer. So once the cans come into the case packer, they will be uh, placed on top of the cardboard case and then the case gets wrapped around the cans. So it'll queue up six cans at one time, 
place it into the case. The case wraps around the can and then the case is glued in place. After the case is made and we have the cans inside, the case is ejected out of the machine on the conveyor, travels down the conveyor across a uh, case code printer where we apply the lot number, the USDA contract number, and the date. That's printed on the case and then the case falls down this conveyor into the robot palletizer. The robot palletizer will pick up the case and place it onto the pallet in the specified pallet program. This is where we uh, unload uh, empty pallets into the palletizer and this will basically destack the pallets to load one pallet at a time for the robot. Completed pallets are ejected out of the uh, palletizer area by conveyor and then come into this uh, automatic stretch wrapper where the stretch wrapper will wrap stretch wrap around the pallet uh, to secure it for shipment. Once it's been stretch wrapped, the finished pallet will come out at the end of this conveyor where the operator will pick it up with a forklift and place it into the warehouse. So I'm Jeremy Klein, I'm the quality manager here at our Coralville uh, oil packaging facility. And this is our quality assurance lab. So it's a pretty small lab, but it plays a pretty important role. So all of the uh, oil tanker shipments that we get in will be analyzed here. And uh, we analyze them before we receive, so we know we're getting exactly what we ordered and we're getting a pure product. So this over here is called a refractometer. And basically what it does is it'll help us determine the purity of the oil and if there's any moisture in the oil. So uh, we have a fairly uh, tight spec for that and it's very easy to use. So uh, when we do get an oil shipment in, we'll be able to get a result on the purity and any moisture contamination within just a couple minutes. And then over here, we've got what's called a food lab analyzer. And this will measure free fatty acid content, which is basically the rancidity value of the oil. And then it also measures peroxide, and peroxide actually causes rancidity. So we're measuring uh, the actual rancidity and the ability or the propensity for the oil to go rancid. So when we get a tanker in from ADM, it should take us no longer than 10 or 15 minutes to validate the purity, uh, if it's been contaminated by moisture, uh, get a result on free fatty acids, and get a result for peroxide. So it's a, it's a fairly quick process, but a very important one.